Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the S3 replication. S3 replication enables automatic copying of objects across S3 buckets in the same or different AWS region. This is usually for data backup, redundancy, or auditing purpose. You can use S3 replication to make copies of your objects and retain all metadata, such as the original object creation time and version IDs. This capability is important if you need to ensure that your replica is identical to the source object. You can enable same region replication or cross region replication for all objects in a bucket or objects with specific prefixes or tags. You need to enable replication at the bucket level. S3 replication allows you to replicate objects into different storage classes. You can use replication to directly put objects into S3 Glacier, Glacier Deep Archive, or another storage class in the destination bucket. You can also replicate your data to the same storage class and use lifecycle rules on the destination bucket to move your objects to a colder storage class after certain time. You can maintain objects copies under different ownership. Regardless of who owns the source object, you can tell S3 to change replica's ownership to the AWS account that owns the destination bucket. This is referred to as the owner override option. You can use this option to restrict access to object replicas. You can use S3 replication time control or S3 RTC to replicate your data in a predictable time frame. S3 RTC replicates 99.99% of new objects stored in S3 within 15 minutes, backed by a service level agreement. Cross region replication asynchronously copies objects across buckets in different AWS regions. Whereas same region replication copies objects across buckets in the same region. When you choose cross region or same region replication, you should consider the following use cases. You can choose cross region replication to meet the compliance requirements. Although S3 stores data across multiple geographically distant availability zones, some compliance requirements might dictate that you store data at even greater distance. Cross region replication allows you to replicate data between distant regions to satisfy compliance requirements. If your customers are in two geographic locations, you can minimize latency in accessing objects by keeping object copies in AWS regions that are geographically closer to your users. You can increase operational efficiency using cross-region replication. If you have compute clusters in two different AWS regions that analyze the same set of objects, you might choose to maintain object copies in those regions. If you store logs in multiple buckets or across multiple accounts, you can easily replicate logs into a single bucket using same region replication. This simplifies log processing in a single location. If you have production and test accounts that use the same data, you can replicate objects between those multiple accounts while maintaining object metadata by implementing same region replication rules. You might be required to store multiple copies of your data in separate AWS accounts within a certain region. Same region replication can help you automatically replicate critical data when certain regulation doesn't allow the data to leave your country. For S3 replication to work, you must meet the following requirements. If the source bucket and destination bucket are owned by different AWS accounts, the source account must have both source and destination regions enabled. The destination account must have the destination region enabled. S3 replication only works on versioning enabled buckets. You must enable versioning on both source and destination buckets. S3 must have permissions to replicate objects from the source bucket to the destination bucket on your behalf. If the source bucket owner doesn't own the object in the bucket, the object owner must grant the bucket owner read and read ACP permissions with the object ACL. If the source bucket has object lock enabled, the destination bucket must also have object lock enabled. For cross account replication, the destination account must use the bucket policy to grant the source account permissions to replicate objects. S3 only replicates specific items that are configured for replication. By default, S3 replicates the following items. S3 only replicates new objects that are created after you add replication configuration. It doesn't replicate existing objects that are created before you enable the replication. S3 only replicates unencrypted objects, encrypted objects using SSE S3, and encrypted objects using SSE KMS. To replicate objects encrypted using CMK stored in AWS KMS, you must explicitly enable the option. The replicas will be encrypted using the same encryption types as source objects. S3 also replicates version IDs, metadata and tags of objects. 
S3 only replicates objects in the source bucket, for which the bucket owner has permissions to read both objects and ACLs. S3 replicates object ACL updates, when both source and destination buckets are owned by the same account. The replication process can take a while, until S3 brings both source and destination ACLs in sync. It applies only to objects created after you enable replication on the bucket. Object lock retention information will be replicated if there is any. When S3 replicates objects that have retention information, it applies the same retention controls to replicas, overriding the default retention period configured on the destination bucket. If no retention control is applied to the objects in the source bucket, and destination bucket has a default retention period, the destination bucket's default retention period will be applied to replicas. The following items are not replicated by S3 replication. S3 doesn't replicate object versions that existed before you add the replication configuration to the bucket. Encrypted objects using customer-provided encryption keys won't be replicated. S3 doesn't replicate objects that are stored in S3 Glacier or Glacier Deep Archive storage class. S3 doesn't replicate objects which the source bucket owner doesn't have permissions. Updates made on the bucket level subresources won't be replicated. For instance, if you change the lifecycle configuration, or add a notification to your source bucket, these changes are not applied to the destination bucket. Actions performed by lifecycle configuration won't be replicated. For instance, if lifecycle rules are only enabled on the source bucket, S3 only creates delete markers for expired objects, but it doesn't replicate those markers. If you want the same lifecycle rules applied to both source and destination buckets, you need to enable the same lifecycle rules on both buckets. S3 doesn't replicate objects that were created by another replication rule. You can replicate objects from a source bucket to only one destination bucket. After S3 replicates an object, this object cannot be replicated again. For instance, if you change the destination bucket in an existing replication configuration, S3 won't replicate the object again. Another example is that, if you've enabled a destination bucket as a new source bucket, replicas in this bucket that were previously replicated from another bucket, won't be replicated again. When you delete an object without specifying an object version ID in the source bucket, S3 only adds a delete marker on the object in the source bucket. However, it doesn't replicate the delete marker to the destination bucket. When you delete an object with a specific object version ID in the source bucket, S3 only deletes the specified object version in the source bucket. It doesn't replicate the deletion to the destination bucket. The intended deletion behaviors protect replicas in the destination bucket, in the event of malicious deletions in the source bucket. In this episode, we've learned how S3 replication works. S3 supports both cross-region replication and same-region replication. For replication to work, S3 must have permissions to replicate objects. Replication only works on versioning-enabled source and destination buckets. S3 only replicates objects created after adding replication configuration. S3 only replicates unencrypted objects, and encrypted objects using SSE S3 and SSE KMS. Objects deleted in the source bucket won't be replicated to the destination bucket. Okay, that's all for S3 replication. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!